All right, answering a few questions people had on the radio. Um, I, I wanted a bag radio, man pack radio. Now, I, I did some research, uh, thanks to one of the commenters in the earlier video. There was a bunch of other dudes that have been building uh, ham man pack radios, usually which involve a vehicle mount radio in some sort of a metal frame with some batteries and switches and other things attached to that metal frame. And then that metal frame goes into the pack. I I kind of like the idea, but it it doesn't scale down to the size of this Juentai radio. If you, if you look at the size of my hand versus the size of this radio, I mean, yeah, they're a man, uh, they're they're a vehicle mount radio, but it's a very compact radio. So I wanted to take advantage of that by having an undersized man pack that that saves weight, it, because it's not a very physically large radio. It's it, it's relatively small if you look at that so when you see pick catalog pictures of these sometimes they they look bigger than they are and the other thing about the cable is i i have the magnet mount vehicle uh antenna in here all taken apart but that long cable that goes with that that stays totally detached what's in the bag actually is just a one foot cable well, this thing was kind of thick and heavy duty uh, it's what they had at Amazon when I ordered a one foot extension cable and then this one here is just basically six inches um, and it adapts it to this little antenna and and these were this this is what it was made for I mean this is kind of like where the recommended stuff was and then this rubber duck antenna it's uh, I, bl I believe it's 16 or 18 inches so it's it's kind of large for something that would just be on a handheld and they had this little double nut thing so if I did one of those man pack radio little metal subframes on this I would venture to guess this would get mounted onto that um, because that's what it's it seems to be made for it's made to be mounted on some kind of a case or fitting or something like that what I have here is the structure of the bag kind of supports it if I used a shorter cord well then I, I wouldn't have any range of motion for raising or lowering the antenna so when it's in its lowest position it's here and I can kind of sort of raise it up to here um, but that's that's my range of movement is is the flexibility on that skinny cable in there the thick cable is not flexible and all it really does is allow me to pass some connectors through pouches on the bag so that uh, let's say, for example, the, the battery lives in one pouch in a bag and the radio lives in another pouch in a bag. Um, I, I have to be able to pass cables through there. So the most efficient passage for that is, is the shortest cable that will do the job but have enough slack to allow for servicing. So this, this cable coming out of the back of the radio is only one foot long. And then what you see here, it covers this little range of mo movement, this highly flexible cable, is just, you know, like a few inches long. And, and, and all that does is allow me to push the, the antenna enough, it's very flexible, that I can bend it through here. Now, the discussion in the comment section plus a couple of forums is, you know, can this antenna, this Nagoya antenna, handle 25 watts? And then the other question was, you know, a ground plane. Well, I, I bought a ground plane off Amazon, but the connectors on the ground plane aren't really what goes with this type of antenna. So it's, it's kind of staying in the, in the package right now. Um, and it, it's just not practical to have that ground plane on here. Um, it's not practical to have that as part of the, the man pack at, at this stage. And not, not a compact man pack radio. Um, I, I just don't see that happening. So, as far as the radio itself, if I were to upgrade to a better radio or, uh, or even a, a physically larger one, it, it should still fit in here. But if I were to do something really larger, like the, that... Uh, you know, one of the Kenwoods or something like that, then it's going to have a problem fitting in a pouch, but I think it would still go in there. And then, of course, with the holes kind of burned through the pouches, well, then I have the, the handset stowed separately. So the way I would expect this to work in the bag is 
you know, I've, I've, uh, you know, we pull the handset out, we open this up, we, we have to allow it access to air, we have to free up the little cooling fan on here because these, these will get hot in use. The philosophy of use is, you know, you would turn this on to check in and then you're probably going to turn it off. Um, it's not a high duty cycle type of thing. But it's it's also a proof of concept. So if we came up with a better radio later on, we we just replace the radio. We're not replacing the whole bag. We're not replacing the cup power system or all of that stuff. The big question though is um, the antenna situation. So we're looking at some extendable antennas, some dipole antennas, some stuff where well you take the antenna out of the bag and you set it up. Well, I I think I kind of have that covered with this other vehicle magnet mount antenna that was the recommended antenna for this and and as long as I can stick that on a flat piece of metal I, I have a ground plane from the way I understand the radio theory so the question is you know what do we do when we use it from the bag now if you're wearing the bag and use the radio then logically this antenna is right by your head and that's that's yeah, at five watts it's not that big of a deal at 25 watts it, it could be an issue you, you could you know it's it's right by your brain your brain is an electrochemical computer and this thing could screw with that so the idea is you take the bag off turn the radio on maybe set the antenna up but i i don't plug that two meter cable i mean that the the 10 foot or 12 foot cable into this that's that's not what's plugged into it when it's on the rubber ducky. What's what's plugged into it is just a one foot cable. But this 18 inch rubber ducky, it it hasn't been clear to me whether this thing is really going to handle 25 watts or what happens if I transmit 20 watts through this thing. Um, if it, it simply means that not all of it's going through, would it overheat the radio? Would it? scorch something on the antenna I don't know or if it would just be less efficient than if you were using a large antenna uh, we'll start the conversation with that and if somebody has recommendations for you know a, a relatively flexible whippy type antenna that would still fit in this bag and be suitable for this radio that's that's kind of where we're looking okay um, what's not going to work is a stiff wire antenna that is uh, not really flexible enough to like bend over and have in a pouch in here because I could, you know, once I back this thing down, it's it's little extension, um, you know, it still sticks out this far, but it's it's just pretty springy. So if I bend it over and I put it in here. Uh, and I close the whole bag up, I, I know my, my radio stuff is not likely to get damaged or fall out or, or any of that kind of stuff. I, I'm not trying to hide the fact that it's a radio bag. I mean, heck, I've, I've made a video about it, right? But when it's all stowed, I, I, I don't want anything hanging out, okay? I, I, it just, it, when it's stowed, it needs to stay stowed, and, and that's, that's how it would be. And, um... I really don't want a man pack to be any larger than this either. And the man pack needs to be all inclusive. Uh, no additional junk to make the radio work. That's that's the other thing I'm looking for. It's kind of a requirement. So I'm I'm definitely open to thoughts and recommendations. The big issue in the discussion that I'm kind of crowdsourcing out there with the YouTube people right now is the antenna. That that seems to be the link that everybody's kind of worried about or talking about that sort of a thing is and I think we've got good solutions good things figured out for the field antenna that if you're gonna stop and have an antenna up in a tree and and that sort of a thing I listen I've done a fair amount of that in the military okay I, I'm not gonna talk all about my military background but it was, between the prick 77 and the sink guards I uh, you know, we, we screwed, I'd have to break out the book to figure out how long we got to make the little wire pieces for the dipole and the J-pole and, and string it up in the tree and all that shit. Uh, I understand that concept, but what I'm looking for is, you know, a decent amount of transmit power in a man pack where 
you're hiking along, you're moving around, you're, you're riding a bike or whatever, you take the pack off, you turn the radio on, you start talking, and you, you need to cover some distance. You need to skip over some mountaintops and stuff with it without using or without depending on a, a repeater. That's, that's the concept. That's what we're trying to build here.